Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a miniature camshaft out of a piece of bar stock. I'm going to show you how the phases I go through to get to that evolution of the final camshaft. First of all, I start out with a piece of 4130 stress proof certified bar stock. I machine it for the bearing areas on both ends and I machine all the separations in the cams for the cams here. I identify the cam bearing locations and then I have a machine. I put it in the machine and I'm going to show you how I get to this point right here. Hope you enjoy our video. Thank you. This is a camshaft grinder that I developed to make my little model engine camshafts. This was originally designed by a gentleman, uh, it was Gene Switzer, out of Strictly IC Magazine. We did a lot of modifications to it. We can grind V8 camshafts. I used two, two patterns right here on the, uh, on the rotating device here. One's the exhaust valve. The other one's the intake. The, uh, the lobe split is generated right here. There's 115 degrees lobe split between the center line of this one, the intake, and the center line of the exhaust. And um, the way I dial up my degree on my to get my firing order is the, is the degree wheel that we generated on the spindle of the grinding machine. The black lobes are the exhaust, the red ones are the intake. So that would be number two and number one is in the front section here. This would be three and four, this is five and six, and this is seven and eight back in this section. The grooves in the camshaft are where the oil goes around and goes down to the main bearings in the uh, main engine block. This camshaft is for the Black Widow V8 and it's being developed. It should be a revolutionary engine. The reason why I put paint on the, on the camshaft is so I can see and identify when I'm down at the cleanup cut because it's just going to clean up on the major diameter of the camshaft. That's what I want. That'll give me the crown. I'm taking approximately five thousandths for a cut here. I'm using a micrometer dial. And this is a Delrin foot I use to, to follow my pattern. There's the cam we just ground from the pattern right here, right here. So they look kind of like each other. Anyway, to move to the next item, you got to dial your your micrometer dial back in, and then uh, the machine has a lead screw that I can move the the wheel over to the intake valve. And then I just take the, uh, the patterns, I move them to the location like that, lock it down, turn it on.
Okay, after grinding the exhaust valve right here, grinding the intake, it generated the lobe split between here and here. That's number two. This is number one. This is number one exhaust, number two, number one intake. That's what I'll index the, this head right here. On the next cam location for the exhaust valve, it's z number one, which is zero, top dead center. I will set my cam grinder at zero and grind the intake and the exhaust in the same way I did on cam lobes for uh, cylinder number one and uh, number two, right here. And then that, what I do is I'll move the, I move this cam pattern right here. It moves up and down on a flat that's ground onto this shaft that we made for the cam grinder. And, and when we made a, a flat bottom set screw here so it'll locate positively every time. So when we tighten it up, locate it over the cam lobe right here that you got to grind and then turn the machine on and grind the, the pattern on there and then move to the uh, intake side which is on this side of the which is on the other side opposite side of the, uh, the exhaust valve. Here. This is a, uh, a plan of, that I drew up of the exhaust valve locations for a V8 engine. It shows like number one is zero, number two is 225, number three is 135, and the way I, 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 I got this information was from a uh, tool that I made, uh, exhaust valve location, so I made this tool. And you read the degree wheel here and it tells you what the grindy in exhaust valve at what degree so it would be number one would be zero and the next one index would be eight which is a v8 engine so you would look on a v8 because this is even side this is odd side and you would look on here and it would say 315 so you would grind your lobes like that and that's how i came up with the locations of this uh of the v8 engine that i'm making and this is a, a drawing of the location of the exhaust and intake valves down through there. Hey, thanks for looking at the tutorial. The next tutorial we'll have is uh, how to machine the ends for the cam bearings and the distributor gear. And the other end is going to have the timing gear on it. We'll show you how to install the camshaft in the model engine set the timing and eventually down the road you're going to see the first start.